Hello everyone, this is Impulse, and welcome back to the Hermitcraft Game Mode 4 server. How you guys doing today? I'm doing awesome, I'm doing awesome back here on the Game Mode 4 server. Feels so good. And look at this, been doing a little bit of work around here. Just some minor cleaning up. Some, <laughs> I got my wither skull right there just to let me know that that's where those guys will be dropping. I don't see any in there just yet. I might have been far enough away. Uh, but we have some witches dropping and not collecting their drops yet. But I had a, uh enchantment set up here. Got this here so that as I'm collecting XP, I can drop it right into that. And if I want to get it back, I just basically go down here. And of course, going to have some cleanup to do here, but you can see I can just stand under this guy and start getting my XP back. Oh, let's just see what we got here. I don't want to keep collecting it the whole time, but ooh, look at this. Why didn't those two bunch up? Anyway, uh, <laughs> got plenty of skulls, bones. I've been taking the coal. I've been trading coal and uh, basically getting some emeralds from that. I think it was this guy right here. Yep, you can see he's locked out, so i got some work to do to unlock him. Uh, could do the iron, too, to unlock him. So I think we can, yeah, get a lot of emeralds by doing that. You know, basically get get the uh, coal to emeralds, emeralds to iron, and then have that be the cycle there. And, of course, you can see, so i got a couple of these guys in here now because that, that's kind of the plan. And, yeah, we're going to be stocking up diamonds pretty quickly, I think. And uh, because of that, I think it's time we get back to our initial project, which was trying to get that infinity tool. So you guys probably remember me mentioning it uh, earlier in the series here, a couple videos ago. I was trying to get the infinity tool, and that's this infinity tool is just this crazy, insane, overpowered pickaxe. Um, it's got all sorts of uh, specialties to it, Ton like very sharp, unbreaking. I mean, this thing is just, yeah, <laughs> total efficiency. It's 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 crazy, looting, you name it, and so. The, the thing is, in order to make the Infinity Tool, you need a ton of materials. I mean, an absolute ton of materials. So, you need a ton of diamonds, you need a ton of redstone, and gold, and some other things. And so, I was trying to get it, and it, I was trying to make these Philosopher's Stones. So, you basically have to make like 12 of these MK4 Philosopher's Stones. And by the time I got to the first one, I was done. I was just like, this is just way too much crafting. You have to make a ton of this minium dust in order to, to make these Philosopher's Stones. So it needs like, I don't know, you, you, it, it needs a ton. Uh, I forget the number, but it's thousands of minium dust just to make these, you know, enough Philosopher's Stones to make this Infinity Tool. And so I just got sick of crafting it. I mean, that's, that, that's basically what happened. I was... I was crafting and crafting and crafting. I just got really sick of doing it. And so I've been thinking about it, and I thought, you know what would be cool? Is if we use one of these custom crafter deals here that I'm staring at and make an automated crafting system and have that actually make the minium dust, and then once we're done with that, have it make the philosopher's stones and then that kind of thing. So then when we can, we can get up to uh, our infinity tool rather quickly as long as we have the materials for it, you know, the diamonds and, and other things, uh, which is not going to be a problem with our, our new little diamond farm set up up there. And then redstone dust, it needs a ton of that. And I think we're good with the witch farm down here. Um, you know, all I have to do is turn the hyper spawner on and we'll get tons more. And so we're doing pretty well on that as well. So yeah, that's kind of the plan today. And I'm going to go ahead and sleep here, and then we'll get to building this thing. All right, so I'm just going to build it, I guess, just right here. You can see this is my little storage hut. Uh, it's, it's, it doesn't look great. I got my little carrot farm, and I just got random stuff around here. It's where I keep all my stuff. Um, eventually, I'm going to get this nice and cleaned. But uh, I got a little space right here, and I think this will be enough space. So basically, what I want to have happen is auto crafted minium dust and if I make an auto crafter I'm assuming I'll be able to use it for more than just the minium dust but I want it to end up in this chest here so what I'll do is I'll just put an auto crafter on top of this hopper here uh, an auto crafter I mean a custom crafter here so we got to use a dropper I believe and then we need to make a dropper inside that Oop, looks like I don't have enough cobblestone we can take care of that uh, that should be enough. Yep. All right. So let's go ahead and turn this thing into a custom crafter. Uh-oh. That's just going to, yep. <laughs> that's just going to suck my items through. Here, let's block that hopper off real quick so it stops doing that. 
need to have it hold the items long enough for us to, there we go, make this thing into a custom crafter. So it's got to be a dropper inside of a dropper. And then we have a, uh, there we go, custom crafter. Perfect. All right, so now we don't really care if that hopper sucks anything up. But that's basically the idea is we have our custom crafter. And if we can feed this thing with the pattern is redstone around the edges here and then diamond in the middle, that will make minium dust. So if we lock this hopper and get that to fill up in that order, then as soon as it creates it, then we can release it. It'll go into this chest and then we'll have like a whole system that basically continues to just make minium dust for us as long as our uh, you know, you know supply or inventory of redstone and diamonds are available. So in order to do that, I think what we'll do is there's nine spots in the custom crafter here. So we'll go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And ooh, I want to put droppers on the back sides of those. So I need some, I have like no blocks on me. What do I have on me? Okay, here we go, diorite, that'll work. Um, we actually need droppers facing into those hoppers. So we'll come back here. I'm just making a place to set the droppers here. And there, and we'll tear this back out so we can get the droppers in place. And we'll basically just have the droppers fire all the, all the materials needed into those hoppers. And then hopefully those will go in in the right order. It's kind of kind of the plan. We'll see. We'll see how it works here. We'll figure this out together today. All right. So if we have that, I don't need I don't need those blocks here anymore. I'll just run redstone across the top of them, I guess. And so let's see here. I'm gonna go ahead and lock this here. I want to run some tests real quick. And if we put some redstone across, oops across the top of these droppers. And then we're gonna need some some sort of material here to, to test this thing. So if I put a button here, that should fire. <laughs> this armor stands in my way. There we go, yep, that fires the dropper. So let's get, let's just find uh, nine random things here. I wanna have at least more than one in my inventory of each, so we'll do that, and that, and that. Okay, that's that's nine different things. So let's put this in here, and we'll have to remember the order. This is why I wanted to have more than one, so that I would remember the order for my inventory, and there we go, one of each. Probably gonna regret putting just one in, but that's okay. And, die right, am I getting this right? And raw chicken, and cooked chicken, and redstone. Okay, so now all the droppers are filled up. This hopper's blocked, so everything should just sit inside this custom crafter. And basically, everything's going to shoot out at once. And my hopes are, you know, we'll just have it in order one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And that way we know exactly what to do here. So let's push this button. Boom, they should all fire. And you're starting to see them come in. And they are in. Order, perfect, okay, so yeah, you see one came in there, two, three, four, five, six, so on and so forth. So they're all in order, that's awesome. And now all we need to do is make sure that we fill the droppers with the correct recipe, and then it will automatically create this stuff for us. So what we need to do now is, so the recipe for minium dust, oops, I wanna just move this stuff down here. The recipe for minium dust is basically redstone like this with a diamond in the middle. Um, so let's 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 go get some diamonds here, and I'll probably go grab some some more redstone dust too. I think I got some diamonds in my chest right here. You can see I got some blocks even. In fact, let's go ahead and at least give ourselves a full stack of diamonds. Perfect. Man, that was like I planned it. <laughs> All right, and then we'll come down here. We'll grab a little more redstone because we're going to need it. And we'll just fill our inventory here. Do, do, do. Uh, I want to make sure I at least have nine stacks. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, oops, eight, nine. Okay, and then I got some extra. That's okay. Put that back. All right, and so here's the thing. Here's the thing. I want to show you this because you guys are probably all thinking the same thing right now. If, if we were to just go ahead and start filling these droppers up, right? Like this. I'm just gonna do a few here. Well, okay, I'll just do them all. <laughs> and 
There we go. Last one. And then so it would be, you know, one, two, three, four. And then this one should be where the diamonds are. So now if we were to do this, hit that button. I can't hit it, the stinking iron or the armor stand. You can see it's not going to go in the circle we want it to go into because they're stacking. So in order to get around that, at least for this recipe, and probably future ones as well, what we're going to do to overcome it is pretty simple. Uh, I'm going to put down a crafting table here. There we go. And we will just make an anvil. All right. And we'll set this guy down on top of the crafting table there. And I'm going to go get my redstone back. I knew I was going to regret filling all these up. Uh, but I just wanted to demonstrate to you guys that that was definitely going to be a problem with them stacking because it won't create what we want it to create, if that's the case. All right. And what we'll do instead is we'll just rename some of these redstone. So, okay, I'm going to need some levels to do that. So I just showed you guys how I get my levels now. Let's go up here and get some. And we'll need, let's see, there's eight redstone that go in the pattern. But I only really need to name seven of them because the other one, unnamed, won't stack with the named one. So seven XP. There we go. Good. <laughs> Don't get extra. <laughs> Save it. Save it for later. Never know. All right. And we'll come over here and we'll rename the redstone here. So let's just get this. I just want to get things kind of tidied up here. Uh, we'll go with and we'll just number them, I guess. This is one. And what's nice is you can do a whole stack here for just one level. This will be two. And we'll go with three. And we'll do all seven ones here. Four. And five. Six. Love that sound. <laughs> and seven. <laughs> Naming redstone. It's awesome. And then there's my eighth one that won't stack with the rest. And of course, the diamond's going to have to go in the middle there. And that should do it. So let's go ahead and put these in now. One, two, three, four, diamond, six, what happened? Seven. What happened to five? There's five. It was in the wrong order. Whatever. <laughs> it doesn't really matter. Um, all right. So now. When I hit the button, we should see everything come in and actually make the recipe and turn into minium dust. All right, so let's watch it. <laughs> I put them out of order, so this is going to kind of mess things up a little bit. Diamond, six, seven, five. <laughs> there we go. Boom. Turns into minium dust. That's perfect. But this is still way too manual, right? So what we want to do is basically automate this whole thing. And we're going to do that with uh, pulse extenders and um, pulse limiters and all sorts of other stuff. So, all right. So that is the next challenge we need to do. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and gather some things real quick and we'll get right to that. All right. So in order for this to work, what we want to have happen is this hopper right here is going to need to get locked while all the items come into this crafter. It's gonna to have to stay locked just long enough for the entire thing to fill up, for the recipe to be done, and it to turn into minium dust. And then what we wanna do is release the, the hopper here and let the items flow into this chest here. And as soon as all four minium dusts are completely drained of this thing, we'll wanna go ahead and start the cycle again. And that way we can just keep going and going until all these all these droppers, you know, we'll fill them up all the way, are, are done, you know, and completely empty. And then we'll have some sort of mechanism that, that tells it to shut off once that happens as well. So in order to have that happen, we're going to need to put a pulse extender in that's going to allow us to lock this hopper long enough for the items to flow in. And we'll just use a pulse extender here done by Code Crafted. And right here, basically, it's just two hoppers facing into each other, comparators coming out. And those will go into a block with redstone dust on top of them. And we'll put some dust there, there. And then on one side, we have a sticky piston with a redstone block in front of them. And on the other side, we have a regular piston to push that back once the items are flowed all the way over. And then we'll go ahead and put in, uh, we'll say, seven items for now. And you can see we're getting an output signal from this block. So we're just going to take that signal. I'm going to add a little bit of delay there. And we'll put it right into uh, another block here next to the hopper. And that will lock the hopper while this thing is on. Let's see if we can 
demonstrate that again here. So if we push that, it starts the starts the extended signal here into that block. So you can see if I put items in this crafter, it's going to just stay there until the signal runs out. As soon as this thing turns off, you'll see it releases and flows into that chest. And so that will lock it long enough for our items to flow through. Now at the same time, we want to take this signal here and basically uh, you know, activate all these dispensers. So let's take this off. I think we're done with that there. And we will go ahead and, because you saw this thing is actually like a long pulse, uh, we'll just go ahead and shorten it with a, with a uh, pulse shortener here. And we'll do that by doing the sticky there. We'll just put a block on top of that, kind of grab the signal through that. Uh, it's probably not necessary here to do it this way, but I want to do it anyway. And then we'll just run the signal up like that. It'll go across and that should do that. So let's go ahead and activate this one time here. Uh, and that's, yeah, that's all that's going to do because it's not like we have a, a clock going or anything like that. So that should do that. Let's we'll see if it goes through. We're getting our items. Let's see if it crafts long enough here for it to go all the way through. There we go. Four minium dust. And then the timer expires and they're draining all the way and to the chest. Perfect. Okay, now what's missing is we actually want this thing to continue doing that kind of over and over again. So in order to do that, what I think I'll do is grab a signal off of this hopper. So as soon as it sees that, okay, we're starting to have items drain out of this because the timer turned off, um, we'll go ahead and just moments later enough time for all four of those minium dust to, to cycle through. Uh, go ahead and come back into this block. And as you saw, if we press this button, it starts the clock again. It starts the extender. So uh, we just need to have a long enough delay on here that it'll let the items through. So I'm just going to put a bunch of repeaters here. And what can we do? Uh, I want to fit a couple more here if we can, just to, just to make sure it's long enough. Um, I'd rather it be too long than not long enough. Otherwise, we'll get an item left in this hopper, and it'll it'll just stay on. So that should do. That's a pretty good delay. <laughs> All right. So, yeah, okay, let's see. Let's see if this works here. If this works properly, then this thing should just kind of keep going in, uh, in, in multiple cycles here. So we'll do it again. Here they come. And hopefully we get minium dust created all right and that goes off and we will get flowing back through here there we go signal delayed and it looks like we've started again perfect and we'll get another batch going for and will they go all the way through yeah you can see that turn off all the way there goes the signal turns it back on long enough for everything to come back through and there we go look at this thing it's just cycling through the recipe one after another and awesome, look at that. <laughs> so we've done it. We've done it. We've created an auto crafter. It's basically just making minium dust over and over again. Um, now, I did want to add one more thing real quick, and that is what happens when it's done. Uh, we kind of want this thing to auto shut off. I don't want it to just keep running and running even when this thing is completely empty. So assuming that we put the same number of items in all the droppers, uh, what we can do here is just basically trigger whether or not this thing is empty. And we'll do that by just kind of hanging a torch off the back here. And then we can use that. So basically, if this torch turns on, that means this is empty. And we'll just kind of come over here and that will then go into here and basically just continue to power this pulse extender, uh, which will keep it from running over and over again. And it's getting dark again. So let's go ahead and go take a little nap here and I'll come back and we'll see how many minium dust we have. In fact, this chest is probably gonna need to be bigger. I can put a double chest in here, I guess. But uh, yeah, I want to get out of here before we start getting mobs in here that's going to, I don't want a creeper blowing this up after we just worked so hard to make it. So all right, let me sleep and let it run for a little bit and then we'll come back and we'll see how it did. All right, guys, a fair amount of time has gone by and I no longer hear these pistons firing, which means, as you can see, comparators off. So this thing is empty. It is done. It has crafted them all. All the dispensers or droppers, I should say, should be empty and we should have, boom four stacks of minium dust. Awesome. 
Awesome. That is it. I mean, that basically we put one stack of redstone in each one of these and one stack of diamonds in the middle there. So that makes four minium dust each, which equals four stacks. So we got them all. And this thing shut off perfectly. And awesome. Awesome. This thing is working. So I did some math here trying to figure out exactly how many minium dust I'm going to need to get this infinity tool. And I need a total of 6,144 minium dust, which is 96 stacks. So four down and 92 stacks to go. <laughs> um, so yeah, it is going to take quite a bit of resources to get all this. But the good news is I don't have to craft it myself. I just need to fill these dispensers up um, maybe two more times uh, about, and that should do it, you know. And then we'll switch the recipe over to using minium dust, and I think it's like some gold and stone to make the actual philosopher's stones. And we'll have this thing, this auto crafter, actually make the stones as well. And uh, yeah, that's kind of the plan. So I'm going to need to be getting more diamonds because I think I found out I need a total of 1,500 diamonds. And that was a nice lag spike. Open door, open. It doesn't want to open. Server's going to crash on me. Um, but anyway, yeah, I'm going to need uh, a lot more diamonds. So we'll use the diamond farm for that. Door finally open. Thank you. <laughs> I kind of love this server. And uh, yeah, so basically the idea is I'm going to get this infinity tool without having to work as hard as XB had to work for his. <laughs> Take that, XB. <laughs> anyway, guys, hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, please remember to hit that like button. And if you're not subscribed, obviously, subscribe before you go. And we'll see you again next time. All right, guys. Have a good one, everyone.